of cookware from stoneware to modern material is unique. Humans use three parts to cook or boil liquids. Earlier, humans have used utensils made up straight from copper, bronze, mud, iron, etc. We have seen benefits of cooking in different vessels in different materials. Copper, bronze, stainless steel, iron, mud, all kinds of material is used by us. Bamboo tubes sealed by clay and bamboo baskets. Large leaves were used by early humans. Improvement in cookware in 19th and 20th century allowed us to economically use the metals. Stone it gives uniform heating and boiling. Copper is high conductor of heat. Aluminium is lightweight in use. Stainless steel corrosion stainless steel is corrosion free. Non-stick cookware non-reactive and non-sticky. This is the hut. The people no the people no knew to how to build the hut they use wood mud grass and use to make the hut this is the bungalow this is the bungalow. This This is the bungalow. The people focus lot and use the iron steel wood. to make the design and to construct. The theme of my project is Evolution of Shelter. Shelter, a place where we live with our families and loved ones. Shelter protects us by bad weather, insects, etc. In the earliest era, men do not know how to build shelters, so they roam here and there in search of food, and there only they build their shelters from tree branches and stones. By the time, man used to carve stones to make carve caves like this and this. By the time, by the time, demand of permanent settled grew. Man used to build kacha houses from straws, mud, etc. But kacha houses can easily destroy. Man used to build pakka houses, pakka houses from cement and bricks. With increase in population and having shortage of space, man used a new concept of high-rise buildings. These are the apartments having flats floor-wise. 
these are having many facilities like play area for kids, gym, swimming pools, etc. Hundreds of families can live in the same tower. The history of cookware. Cookware are the types of food preparation containers commonly found in a kitchen. Cookware comprises cooking vessels such as saucepan, frying pans intended for use on a stove or cooktop or oven. But these cookwares have a great history. Significant changes have taken place over the years in cookware. Let us have a look at the history. The history of cooking vessels before the development of pottery is minimal due to limited archaeological evidence. The earliest pottery vessels were discovered in a cave in China. Before digging out on the ancient Indian cooking utensils, let us first have an idea of the raw materials that were used to manufacture these olden days kitchen equipment. They formed the basis on which these utensils were being used. Stones. They are generally used in grinding. They do not get heated up unlike mixers and blenders that use stainless steel and end up in getting heated. Clay. It is used in many olden days kitchen equipment. Though it is a bad conductor of heat, it was used in olden days. Clay pots are also used to store food once they are cooked. They add minerals to the food like calcium, phosphorus, iron, etc. They add to the taste and aroma, making them different, which cannot be made available in any other types of utensils. Metal. It, it, the utensils made using the metals are the most used materials as there are several metals. The uten Let us first list the metals that were used in cooking in ancient India. Copper. It is widely used for storing water. Other than heating, it do not get heat. It is a great conductor of electricity. Cast iron. It is a also very good con conductor of heat. The food made in iron utensil also has many various health benefits. Stainless steel. They are universal in the sense that without getting rust and not reacting to any kind of food ingredients, irrespective of their taste, they can be used in cooking safely. Bronze Called as Kansa in most parts of the country, it is mostly used in, in East India for many purposes like plates for eating food, tumblers for drinking water, and serving, serving bowls to serve food. Gold and silver. Both being an expensive metal is now rarely seen in households. But in ancient times, it was used in both kitchen and religious work. It has also many health benefits. Wood. It is a very bad conductor of electricity. Also some other metals like aluminium and brass were used in olden days kitchen equipment. However, with changing times and in modern present times, we can see a drastic change which has replaced by crockery. It is usually made of some ceramic material. It can be easily broken. Non-stick cookware. It is a common application where the non-stick coating allows food to cook without sticking to the pan. It is coated with a material commonly known as Teflon. Thus, we can see a huge change in cookware in ancient India and in modern India. Hi, I am Itan Fiyush Mehta from grade 5A. Hi, I am Gianna Piyush Mehta from grade 3rd B. Now, today we are going to show you what is deforestation in our Nelman project. 
So what is deforestation? Deforestation is the decrease of forest areas across the world. It negatively affects our climate, biodiversity and eco natural ecosystem. So now I am going to tell you deforestation with trees. So you can see as in the model one there are so many trees. So the water we get is clean. So we should plant more and more trees to keep the water clean and healthy. Now I will tell you something about deforestation without trees. You, as you can see the water is muddy in model 2 because there are no trees here. That's why we should plant more and more trees and save water to keep it clean like this. Hello everyone, my name is Neban Singh. My topic is history of aeroplane. The history of aeroplane in the extent for more than 2000 years. From the earliest forms of aeroplanes such as kites, it is thought to be the earliest example of man-made flight. Leonardo da Vinci, 15th century dream of life from expression and unscientific designs. The dream of human flight must have begun with observation of birds soaring toward the sky. It's a true story when two brothers trying to build a plane with motor and they already knew how to control motion. Birds are masters of difficult laterally movement. The bright brothers notice or change the angle with their wing tips or yes lateral motions. A right brothers experimented for two years and worked out full scale glider big enough to carry a man in 1901 but built. December 1903, the first motorist flying last and only for second but it was enough to change the history of aeroplane. To design the first powered aeroplane which they simple called the flyer, Wilbur and Orwelli refined. They designed with two more power aircraft in 1904 and 1905. On October 5, Wilbur made a spectacular flight in which he circled the field 30 times in 39 minutes. It turned to open the door for the possibilities on the 20th century. This is olden ways of communication. This is modern ways of communication. In olden days, pigeon carry letter to one place to from one place to another. People give a letter to a pigeon or any bird and they fly and deliver letter to a people. Any people. Letter. Letter is a writing communication. The ways of communication. In olden days, we write a letter and we post in post box and it goes to whoever, uh, whoever we are go, uh, going to send. This is uh, a telephone. Telephone is used to talk and telephone is very heavy. So this is a receiver which open this is like this way and we can talk from here and we can dial number from here. So now I will 
tell you modern ways of communication. In modern ways, line 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 is used to talk uh, to talk. Mobile mobile is used to talk, and even we can call video call or we can play games. Hey all, I am Kashish, and today I am going to explain you about history of facts. Did you know that the fact one of the most common and useful household appliances dates back about 500 BC, existing in ancient India, Rome, China, and Japan in various forms. While in India. Yeah. 
along with food and clothing shelter is the one most essential thing shelter protects from animal weather and wild animals first stone caves caves are in the olden days people did not have the technology so they live in caves and it is made up from soil and stones second tree house tree house protect people from wild animals which could not climb trees third bamboo house bamboo house these are the houses which are found in hilly areas or in north east side it is made up from bamboo sticks fourth hut this uh, these are the houses which are found in villages and it is made up from sticks sand and etc fifth bungalow bungalow is a modern house which are found in towns it is made up from strong cement and uh, bricks sixth apartment apartment this are the modern this are the modern house which is found in city area and this is this is made up from bricks and cement inclusion this is the evolution of shelter think about the history of cookware how cookware changes from ancient times to recent our cookware has come a long way from its primitive form from thousands of years ago it was believed that primitive humans had begun to cook 2 lakh 50000 years ago by tossing a raw piece of meat into the fire years ago human developed hot stone cookery which involved heating stones in a fire before dropping them into a pit filled with water pottery was the first step in the history of cookware it was introduced during neolithic period and human learned to cook in clay pots and used containers made of wood step forward in the history of cookware was the development of metal cooking instrument copper was the first metal used by man on scale egyptians greeks and romans all used copper metal cooking pots were superior to pottery copper cookware was popular for centuries of cast iron it is cheaper version of steel europeans and americans first used cast iron for cauldrons in 1913 harry bridley discovered steel did over the years with different materials such as stoneware stainless steel glass teflon etc over the last couple of centuries there is introduction of a variety of metals like iron copper aluminum etc now favorite cookware material whatever your need there is cookware for everyone we can thank our ancestors for this over time cookware have come to be appreciated for the use and today they have a vital part in our daily eating habits history of computers first abacus abacus is the first known counting machine 500 years ago it was invented by chinese it has rod and beads it is mainly used for addition subtraction multiplication and second napier bones it was invented by john napier who was a scottish mathematician it has a set of bones and nine rod
parts of each digit. And there is a constant rod for zero. Third, Pascal calculator. Blaise Pascal was an French scientist who invented a iron machine in the year 1642. It shows the position of a, of a digit with the help of years in it. Fourth, Lipnitz calculator was invented in the year 1671. A German mathematician got fried Wilhelm Lipnitz uh, invented a machine that can perform multiplication and division also. Fifth, the electrical engine. In 1833, a scientist from England named Charles Babbage in, invented the first mechanical computer. Many computer language still used from this generation of computers. With every passing generation, computers are becoming better, faster and smaller. First generation computers were from the year 1940 to 1956. Vacuum tubes were used during this period. This computer could solve only one problem at a time. Second generation computers were from the year 1956 to 1963. Transistors were used during the Period punching cards were used for input and print out for output. Third generation computers was from the year 1964 to 1971. Integrated circuits were used during the time. The speed was increased many problems could be solved at a time fourth generation computers was from the year 1971 to 1999 microprocessor was used during this period this led to Development of Internet. Fifth generation computer is from the year 2000 present. It is also called as artificial intelligence period. Because of this advances in the, in the technology, we can now do many things like making movies, playing video games, etc. Today, technology has made things possible in the human history. I am Mrs. Mother Patwati presenting you the process of evaluation of money. First system was a budget system. In this, goods were exchanged directly for one another. Second system, gold and silver. Largely formed in metallic money. Third system, metallic coins which even prevails today. Fourth system, paper money which is the government guaranteed money. Fifth system is trusting money which includes debit cards and credit cards. Sixth system is electronic money also known as virtual money. Seventh system is cryptocurrency also known as digital currency not yet introduced in India. My name is Ruth Vasha. Today, I am going to tell the inventions and the evolutions 
of the fastest mode transport for human beings, which is aeroplane. The first plane was invented by the Wright brothers in 1903. There was a story behind this. In 1878, their father, Milton Wright, had bought them a toy helicopter which was made from rubber. So from that they got an idea of building and flying their own aeroplane. The Wright brothers started the actual research in the year of 1900 by making the glider. They kept improving the gliders until they invented the first aeroplane in the year of 1903. The first aeroplane looks like something this. I have used thermocol, acrylic colors and some sticks to make this model. This is the engine. It is used to generate the thrust to lift up the plane in the sky. Here are the parallel winds. They are used to control the airflow during the flight. In subsequent years, the innovations kept improving designs and efficiency of aeroplane. Here is the latest model which I have made. I have used thermocols, papers and acrylic colors to make this model. Now I will tell you the parts of the plane. This is called the cockpit. These are the wings. This is the turbine engine and this is the rudder. Now I will show you how I made this model. I will tell you the differences between the oldest model and the latest model. The oldest model had motor engine whereas the recent model has powerful engine. This plane could travel few miles whereas the latest plane could travel near as to 10,000 miles. The oldest plane could carry 16 passengers whereas the latest plane could carry more than 500 passengers. I hope you liked my video on evolution of aeroplane. Hello everyone, my name is Vishti Amit Bora. Today I will explain you history of fan. There are many types of fan invented. You can see over here. In olden times, there were no source of electricity, so no source of electric fan were used. The first fan, which is leaf fan, which was invented in ancient times, it was a natural fan. It helps to blow wind. The second fan came, which is a wooden type of fan, which is made fully with wood. It, we can also tell it hand fan. It was firstly introduced in Egypt. Then the cloth handmade fan you can see. The first cloth handmade fan which is made in little bluish color over here. And the second which is made pinkish, pinkish color over here. So we can make our mind more sharp and make designs more creative and you can Take the color of your choice and make your fan creative and beautiful. The first electric fan which was introduced by Mr. Squirrel in 1882 which is the first electric fan. This is a table fan. 
the table fan start working when we press this button and the table fan gets off when we press this button again. There are two types of table fan invented. The new technology of table fan which works on battery and the second which is a little oldest technology is that works on electricity. Still little pe people use the table fan. The second electric fan which was introduced by Mr. Philip in 1889 which is ceiling fan. You can also see an image of ceiling fan over here. The ceiling fan is second electric fan. And the latest technology which is air conditioner you can see over here. It was introduced by Mr. Willis Carrier in 1902. Two. This is the latest technology and the new technology of fan. Hello everyone, my name is Zara Ali. Today I will be talking to you about the history of television. The reason I chose this topic is because of very one-sided conversations that I had with my parents. According to them, I am spoiled for choice. Whereas they had to wait for Sundays or Wednesdays to watch a movie or a few songs. So I decided to dig a little deeper and find out for myself what it was like when they were kids. What I found was way worse than I had expected. So let's get right into it. The television as we know it today is based upon the work of a lot of people. Some prominent names early on were Baird, Nipkow and Farnworth. Constantin Persky is the one who coined the word television. This is the Baird mechanical television. It had a small screen. The picture clarity was very little and the color was black and white. As time and technology changed, the screen size of televisions also increased. The 1970s saw a large scale use of color televisions. This is also the time when Television programming first came to India in the form of Doordarshan. Yes, apparently that's what my parents were talking about. They must have had a television that looked something like this. By the end of the century, India had more than 70 million televisions and 100 channels. Technology moved on to full high definition. Today, we have huge screens with LED displays. These have become connected or smart. Now, there are more than 850 channels. That's how I can watch Netflix, Disney Hotstar or YouTube on our home television. I guess all of us are spoiled for choice. What do you think? My name is Zenyan. Today my topic is history of aeroplanes. The Wright brothers invented the first aeroplane in 1903. Airship was invented in 1930. My was invented in 1923. Old aeroplane used gasoline water. The weight was around 5.0 kg. The wings were long and heavy. The old airplane was costly. The new airplanes were used jet engine which has increased the speed of airplane. The old, the new airplane's wings were long. Light and short. And the new aeroplane has been upgraded with security, design, etc. This has been made 
Next comes the electronic money. Ele the latest money is electronic money, also called as crypto money. Uh, it uh, we can send or receive money uh, through internet. It is cheaper and easier. Miss Manjeet Sansali, my topic is about cookware. I will tell you today who did the all cookware work of old time and novel time. In older time, people were using this copper vessel to drink water. In our times, we use this copper vessel to drink water. In older time, people were using this one pot to cook food. We and people also was using this aluminium to cook food and vegetables in it. Then this is tea. We use it to boil water, water and milk. This is non-stick pan. In our times, we use the non-stick pan to cook vegetables without any oil. Also, at each time, people are using this vinegar to make new dosa in it. In our times, we use this non-stick the one to make dosa in it. Hello everyone, my name is Renvi Singh and I am from class 3rd B and my today's topic is cookware. This is clay pots. Clay pots adds many important nutrients like calcium, phosphorus and magnesium and sulfur to food which are extremely beneficial to our body. This pot is made up of copper. Copper has been used and cherished for around 9000 years ago. This is utensils made of glass. There are some utensils made up of glass. Nowadays the utensils are quite expensive than the other one. This is steel utensil. Steel metals are common in use and even the are cheap. This is fiber utensil. Fiber utensils are for used and through purpose. Even they pollute the environment. My name is Lena Boyer. Today my topic is on evolution of telephone. The telephone is the most fantastic evolution of science. It was invented by the great scientist Alexander Graham Bell in 1876. Over the period of time, telephone evolved and we got more advanced version of telephone. Now I am showing you the journey of telephone evolution. First, this is uh, this is the first phone invented by Graham Bell in 1876. Second, after this we got 
global telephone. This is you. Uh, this is first type of telephone that we used in countries like Spain, Japan, and England. Third, third, the uh, in uh, 1905 we got the first phone with the ability to dial. Fourth, uh, this is the first version of rotate rotatory phone. This is made by the Ford uh, Ford company in Frankfurt, Germany. Fifth, mm. then we got the first electrician push button phone introduced by. Bull system uh, in 1963. Uh, yeah, sixth. In 1994, we got digital cordless phone. Seventh. Nowadays, uh, nowadays we are using mobile phone, which are. becoming smarter day by day my name is rim trivedi and i am from standard 3b today i have chosen to speak on a brief history about light bulb under the nirvan project throughout the history of mankind we always looked for a source of light during the night time or to explore dark areas like caves and tunnels initially the common source of light was fire wooden logs candles and oil lamps are some of the examples but it all got changed in 1879 when an american inventor named thomas alva edison invented light bulb thank you Now I will tell you a brief history of the light bulb. In 1802, Humphrey Davy invented the first electric light. He noticed carbon gave off a glow when connected to a battery via a wire. This was called the electric arc lamp. In 1840. To 1850, multiple inventors attempt to develop a practical electric light, but are unsuccessful. In 1874, Thomas Edison built on multiple bulb designs to invent the first long-lasting. practical light bulb his design featured a filament that could last up to 1200 hours in 1920 to 1950 frosted bulbs are invented as well as dimmable bulbs flash bulbs for photography make an appearance and the first turning bulbs are developed in 1960 to 1990 quartz glass and halogen lamps are invented 1990 to 2017 incandescent bulbs fall out of favor to be replaced by cfl and led the they are long lasting cost efficiency and ideal for commercial and residential use journey of bulb to filament bulb to fluorescent bulb and LED bulb the latest one hello
everyone. I am Aditya Gauda from 3rd P. Today I am going to talk about evolution of vehicles. So what are we waiting for? Let's start. Vroom vroom. Human beings are born travelers. Early man travels from place to place on feet. Traveling is civilization. Man tried to move heavy things by carrying or dragging them. Later on, he started using domesticated animals to carry things and travel. In the early era, humans discovered that heavy round objects could be moved easily by rolling them. Some animals were ridden by early man and are known as mounts. Animals such as horses, donkeys, elephants, etc. are known as riding animals and mounts. Once the wheel was discovered by human beings, they started to use draft animals like bullocks to pull wagons or bullock carts. A bullock cart is a two-wheeled or four-wheeled vehicle pulled by one or more bullocks. Bullock carts are developed after the invention of the wheel. Bullock carts are replaced by buses, trains, cars, etc. Bullock carts are still used today in villages where the roads are not suitable to, for the vehicles. A bicycle is a two-wheeled vehicle which runs on the land. It is used to carry men or things. It is a cheap and eco-friendly means of transportation. Bicycle riding is a good sort of exercise. Tractors are used in agriculture, construction, road building, etc. Cars came to use in the 19th century. It was Carl Benz who invented the first gas-powered car. Car is used to travel from one place to another. It is run on diesel, petrol or CNG. The latest cars are the electric cars and the driverless cars. It's amazing to think how far vehicles have come and where the technology will go down to the road. Hello everyone, my name is Sara Palva and today I am going to tell you about aeroplanes. There are many discoveries throughout the history that changed the world in many ways. The internet, the electricity, semiconductors, just to name a few. But aeroplane is one such significant discovery. Birds may have been flying for millions of years, but it's something relatively new to humans. About old aeroplane. Wright brothers are famous for creating the first successful airplane. American aviation pioneers, the Wright brothers, were the brains behind the first controlled and sustained human flight on December 17, 1903. Their aircraft was called the Wright Flyer and it flew about 120 feet. Change in airplane as great discovery. Furthermore, Airplanes have affected many aspects, aspects of our lives more importantly. It really changed the course of war. Before, people used to invade each other by guns and travel them long distance by ship with the whole army. Now, there is no need for the whole army. Just a fleet of airplanes can invade a whole country. However, this is depending on whether or not the other country has anti-aircraft devices or not. Airplanes are now used for bombing and surveillance during war. Airplanes are now preferred 
solution for long distance travels and now thousands of flights are operated in airports around the world every day today the newish boeing 787 can fly 10000 miles on a single tank of fuel my name is adil gupta today i am going to tell you about evolution of shelter shelter is one of the basic human needs a shelter is a place which gives us protection from bad weather or danger as humans evolved they started building houses with stronger materials which gave them protection from environmental factors the the storage the earliest form of houses were was or trees and caves with tiles doors slabs boats and animals high were used to build comfortable and secure shelter and shift civilization during this period around 3100 bc perishable materials like wood and clay were used middle age in the 18th century houses were constructed with bricks as stone foundation frail work was made of old wood early modern period the house cut Construction during this period witnessed many technological advancements. The contemporary era. In today's world, much has changed. There is increasing of steel, concrete, and glass. Even the combination of materials and getting used in the construction process. Before going, I would like to show you some different types of houses. This is a grass house. This is a tree house, and this is a sky cracker. Isha ji, today's topic is history of clock. The earliest known the sand glass first appeared in Europe in the 8th century by the early 14th century the sand glass was used commonly in the Italy the hard glass or sand glass clock follows extremely the same principle hey miss sandra sharma from third b today i will describe you about evolutions of cell phone mobile phones were invented as early as 1940 the very first mobile phone is really not mobile phone Motorola on 3rd April 1973 were first company to produce mobile phone hello everyone my name is me i am in mandi so it is said but the history of clock is a long and fascinating one there are different types of clock over the century the first world of clock is used in 14th century The first way that people could tell the time was by looking at the sun as it crossed the sky. And when the sun is directly overhead, it means it is the middle of the day. When the sun is close to the horizon, it means it is early morning or evening. But the telling timing was not very accurate. 
my second the second invention of the clock is the sundial clock the sundial clock uses the sun to tell the time the no, the shadow of the sun point to the circular disk of the number could tell you the time the third invention of the clock is the water clock water clock had two containers that one higher than the other but the first is tuned a tube is connected to the container the level of the water is to the water mark to tell the time water clock is invented in the egypt 3400 years ago water clock is most popular in egypt the These clocks are not very accurate, but the clock we use today are used, invented in the middle of 16th century. Pendulum clock is the first clock. A famous inventor, Galileo, invented the pendulum clock. Pocket watches with balance wheel and springs came next. These are the clocks that. Can tell you the accurate time. And we shut the barn. We shelter. I have made two models. A model of cake and a model of buildings. Now I will talk about my model caves. In ancient times, cave houses. lived in a cave houses to protect themselves from heat cold and rain there are enough space for the people to live in the cave houses example ajanta and erola caves building now I will talk about talk about my modern buildings. Buildings. Buildings is an example of brick house. In the cities, we can see many buildings. The population in cities is very large, so individual. Houses cannot be made in a building. Many people can live in small areas in a building. There are different types of flats like one BHK, two BHK, and three BHK. The facilities available in buildings are lift, garden, and parking. My name is Suprang Lahoti. I study in class 3rd B. I am going to tell you about flow wheel of olden days and modern days. Origin of millstone or chakki was in 1st century and flow mill was invented in 1787 by Oliver Evans. Now I will explain it. Let us see. Everyone This is a old uh, old traditional atta chakki. It is operated by hand. We put grains over here, and the flow comes out. As you can see, this is a model of modern flow mill. It is also known as grain mill. It is used to pound whole grain into flour or paste. it is when we switch on this button the motor starts the ribbon rotates and the grinder starts now i am putting some grains inside it it will grind and the flow comes out this this process repeat again and again this is the way modern atta chakki works Thank you
my name is Shri and today through my project I will explain the journey of telephone basically the history of phone evolution and the best example of the date development is itself about communication through this video which is made by mobile phone only wow how so amazing it now so friends this magical instrument for communication was invented by alexander graham bell in 1876 and from here the journey began it took decades to reach every milestone telephones first came to india in the form of flow telephones consist of dialer and a receiver then push button phones came and std boots were first becoming the new popular in every market then era of private and endless talks started with cordless phones launched by motorola in 1973 now you were free to talk anywhere in the house because no wires was attached to the phone then martin cooper made the first handheld cellular phone to call in public virtually many companies like nokia started manufacturing mobile phones with different and improved features like flip phones introduced camera lightweight games apps etc also the first touch screen phone was invented in 1992 by IBM and launched in 2007 and from then a tremendous growth has been seen today a phone is no longer a phone it is a smartphone handling multiple functions multiple functions by just tapping the screen there are some pictures of future smartphones i am going to talk about history of gaming 6th 7th and 8th generation of consoles the 6th generation of gaming saw mo mobile gaming and online gaming gain momentum year 1998 to 2013 For, uh, for example, Sega Dreamcast in nineteen ninety eight to two thousand two thousand was a console with a built built in support for internet gaming. It had three D graphics. Sony PlayStation two featured DVD based games discs discs for gameplay. Xbox Microsoft by the end of two thousand one. was a game which uh, wa uh, used pc technology for a uh, gameplay mobile gaming was another platform for gaming in 2013 nokia released its engage phones and sold about 2 million handsets seventh generation for gaming consoles 2005 to 2012 Mobile games saw a rise due to smartphones and apps. Among among the most popular were the Clash of La Clans and the League of Legends. These games could be played on phone and PC both. Social network games like uh, Farmville, Frontier Wheel, uh, Candy Crush were being Played on Facebook, games like Angry Birds two thousand nine and Rovio hit two billion download by two thousand fourteen. Eighth generation of consoles two thousand thirteen to two thousand twenty emerged with games like Nintendo, WII, U, and three DS nine and two thousand sixteen. Sony released PlayStation three. Microsoft Xbox One, Sony PlayStation Three and Four. Eighth generation of consoles, 2013-2020, emerged with games like Nintendo, WII, U, and 3DS. Nine and uh, 2016, Sony released PlayStation Three, Microsoft Xbox One, Sony PlayStation Three and Four, and PlayStation Vita were. among the 8th generation gaming consoles 
PC gaming and mobile gaming has been holding a large market in Europe and Australia and across the world and continues to do so due to digital distribution through to smartphones and desktop medium PC laptop. My name is Arnavra from Standard Third B. The history of cooking visas before the development of pottery is minimal to due the limited archaeological evidence. The earliest pottery visas the discovery in cave in China. The pottery may have been as cookware manufactured hunter gather among first technique you believe to be used stone age. Your basic roasting example of similar technique you are used in many models cuisine. The first is mud pot. Second is copper jug. And third is two. Some utensils are used for drinking water. My name is Swami Bihari. Today I am going to tell you about all this phone generation. All the new telephone and all the new mobile phone. The first telephone of ever. The telephone used for the end of 19th century. This way the dial number easier. This the telephone was widely used. The, the telephone that appeared of the end of 19th century. As you can see, this is both heavier and bigger mobile. The 1995 century mobile. The first mobile of games. Mobile phones absorb in new feature, with new features like radio, camera, color screen, and background. Much modern and much modern modern improved mobile phone features and three L PDA video camera that makes almost everything possible. The era iPhone. Smartphone, touch screen, touch screen, etc. And the then who knows what will be next. Thank you. See, these are the project work. These are old mobile. This is Nokia one. This is old one, and this is also old. These are the new categories of mobile. Yeah. Now I am going to tell history of clocks. First, at 700 BC, people used to use sun clock. Then, to, wo to watch time, people used to use a glass at 18th century AD. Then, people used to use pendulum clock from 18th and 19th century. Later, since 1656, people use mechanical clock. Hello everyone. My name is Yashika Tarvakar. This evolution of clocks. As we all know, the purpose of clock is to see the time. From hundreds of years, we, devices have been used to measure and keep a track of time. Here are some examples of timekeeping devices in the ancient times water clock hourglass candle clock obelisks and sundial i have made a homemade sundial to show you all how it works in the sundial the number 12 is always facing towards the north the sun rises from the east and sets in the west. From the sunrise 
to the sunset, you can see the time in the clock by the shadow of the stick. Nowadays, clocks are much advanced and of different types. Some common examples are mechanical clock, like a wall clock, or a wristwatch. We also have digital clocks like this one, or the ones used on devices like a tablet. Finally, we also have smart watches which have a lot of features apart from just telling the time.